an animal cell is made of three main parts, a nucleus, cell membrane, and cytoplasm, which holds the rest of its critical components. And it's so small, you could actually fit 100 animal cells across the width of a tiny full stop. To help animals do all the peculiar things that they, or should I say we, can do, there are many specialized cells. Red blood cells, for example, have no nucleus, so they can hold more oxygen. They're also biconcave, or disc-shaped, to absorb oxygen more quickly, and rounded to flow easily through tiny capillaries. Sperm cells can swim fast thanks to a tail, streamlined shape, and a high concentration of energy-transferring mitochondria. Good thing too, because without sperm, animals couldn't reproduce. Muscle cells are full of long protein filaments that can slide past each other to contract the muscle, making it possible for animals to swim, fly, or run 